Not sure if this guy is a troll or is he for real, but he just uh, posted probably is a troll. some interesting info about GTA 6 on Reddit and his post is now gone. Let me show uh -huh. you what he said. Hi what? guys. I've hey yo! His post is gone? Gotta be real then, gotta be real, gotta be Bruh. real. Like and subscribe guys, like Been and Been lingering here for the past couple months and now is the time I can finally post. I currently do work for a recruitment agency, mostly going cleaning and maintenance for office space and occasionally warehouses and workshops. Okay. Six months ago, I was given a new six month contract for a cleaning and office maintenance job in London, about a 45 minute train ride from where I live. It was on King's Road in Fulham. When you go into the reception and upstairs, it became blatant that this was a Rockstar game studio. Although I can't find the official address for the London studio online anywhere. I would do the cleaning there, starting at 9.30 p.m. or 10 p.m. four times a week. There was a group of three of us. The offices were usually empty, but occasionally the devs would stay late and work till 11 or 12 p.m. They couldn't say anything about the game they were yeah, working on to I us. I mean, duh. Because you never know, right? Like, you might actually leak it, which just happened, Bumble and you're cut. leaking it, if this is to be believed. This kind of proves that my uncle works at Rockstar Games, and, you know, we used to actually meme about my uncle used to work at Rockstar Games, till that second is the Rockstar North director son leaking the gameplay to his friend, and the friend leaking the gameplay to everybody. Bruh. We saw that what happened, and obviously, you know, back in September of 2022, there was a leaker that actually hacked Rockstar Games and leaked the Lucian Burna entirely. The entire Burna was leaked out by him, though. Even the aliens didn't get to see, but he showed the gameplay to all of us. And that guy is still locked up to this day. So what if... This guy was there to free the leaker, though. You, you never know, right? Oh, For obvious reasons. You need to go to that prison to free the leaker, not at Rockstar Games. And right? all the monitors had privacy screen protectors. The ones where you can only see what the screen is displaying from a certain angle. Now, I'm a big fan of Rockstar, but tried to avoid the leaks last year, so I'm not sure if you guys know all this. But from what I saw over the six months working there, this is pretty much all I saw and heard. I did oh. not sign any type of NDA, so oh, I'm assuming on. this is okay to talk about. The yeah, map man, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I saw leaks, I saw unreleased information, I didn't sign NDA. Means I should leak it to everybody. I should reveal the news publicly. I, I love this guy, man. I love this guy. Who's this dude, bro? Who's this dude? We love the guy, man. Like, uh, did you see some burners there? Like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know. Them, Huge. Bro. Saw it on a monitor briefly as I was walking past one of the devs. Looked like there was like two or three big, big clusters of roads, which I'm assuming <laughs> were cities or towns. I nah, saw. Nah, that's it. fake, bro. That's fake. GTA 6 is not gonna have roads, bro for literally three seconds. Brian Zampella is not in the game, as suspected. Sounds like he was originally cast to play someone, but it somehow fell through, and now Brian is now taking the piss out of Rockstar by posting in- Yo, yo. Emergency meeting real quick, because I remember Legacy Killer HD came out and did say that Brian Zampella is not gonna be in the game. Yeah, we covered that, and I believe Legacy Killer, right? I, I do believe that he has sources because there was some stuff that he said in the past that also came true, and uh, yeah, right? So, believable guy, believable lad. Uh, and Brian Zampella, the, he has been posting way too much, and he was posting, indeed was posting a lot right before the GTA 6 trailer reveal, right after we saw that Lucia Burna getting leaked out, right? He was going crazy! He was posting a lot of pictures, a lot of you also sent them my way as well, and a lot of you have seen as well, and you know what I'm talking about. And Brian Zampella went crazy, uh, to the point where a lot of people started questioning and believing that dog. Like, if you're really in the game, you must have signed an NDA, and therefore you must not leak this information. So a lot of uh, suspicion grew, and people were like, okay, nah, he's in the game, he's not in the game. So there were two camps of people, Legacy Killer comes out, says that he has heard from his sources that he is not gonna be in the game. That happened. Then we get the trailer and obviously Jason is looking different and now we're hearing this news. Either this guy is speaking facts or uh, he just, you know, kept up with the news just like all of us and he's just making up uh, BS. I want to know, do you think this is BS or real? teasing the next What's GTA on his Instagram. I heard the devs say, Have you seen this live stream? What a silly <laughs> prick. I could hear it was Brian's voice as he watched it on his phone. He also said something like, Thank didn't work out. I guess that would also explain how he knows Joey Rubino, Ned Luke, and Sean Fantano. I also saw some art for the it's game. It's not Fantano, it's Fontano, bro. Sean Fantano, bro. Okay, I feel like I'm butchering the name too right now, bro. With Jason and Lucia standing beside each other. My guy's saying like Sean Fanta. He's saying like Fanta right now, bro. Like, Come on, dog. 
He a he a real person, not not a cold drink, bro. Other. Jason had a sawn off black bandana on, pointing a gun at the store clerk. Lucia had a pistol, red bandana on, filling a duffel bag with liquor from behind the till. I also saw what I think was part of an advert, which had just a Grand Theft Auto logo with no six with September 2025 yeah. underneath. The what? What? Dog, if this happens, I will become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet. If this is real, I'll, I'll become a monk, man. I'm ready to become a monk. I'm ready to give my life, guys. I'm ready to give my life. Because, uh, dog, this is... Nah, that's blame truth with the re retwat helmet, you feel what I'm saying? But nah, dog, this is... Say you swear to God, bro. And the funniest thing here is that I kind of believe that Rockstar Games is most probably gonna delay the, the game. You know what I'm saying? Because right now all of us believe that it's gonna be early because of what Take-Two said initially. But, but you know, we we talking about Rockstar Games here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, listen, man. I guess the only positive thing from this one is that at least it's not gonna be 2026, guys. Bruh at least but if this is like their actual plan they can delay it even further to like 2026 you, you feel what i'm saying you feel what i'm saying i mean nah bro say you swear to god bro like it was either the final frame of a trailer or some sort of advert there apparently was some sort of last minute change to the logo as i overheard the devs saying what have they BS, done with dog. that logo bit late to start changing things now uh, ain't mm, it mm, 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 mm. I'm not believing none of this. This is fake. This is fake. This is fake because that that release date does not align with my beliefs right now, bro. Stop, Stop the, the cam, bro. Stop the cam. I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. I'm with the viewers that are watching this video. This is cap. This is cap. Like the video if you think this is cap, bro. Apart from that, I don't think there was anything of much interest to talk about, but anything comes to my mind, I'll make another post, I guess. I'll try answering questions, but I will probably not know the answers. Also, <laughs> mods, I have proof of- Yo, oh my god! Yo, this is like me saying, okay, guys, ask me any, okay, I'm gonna repeat the same thing because I'm not creative enough to think of something like different than this, okay, but, but like, damn, bro, how are you gonna be like, ask me questions, but I'm not capable to answer? Get more, okay, get more. Where and when I was working if you want me to send it to you. Thanks. All right, let's break this down to the basics. I'll skip the credibility issue for now, as we've received some kind of confirmation from the moderator of this subreddit, which oh, I'll what? talk about later. The topic of the map is quite obvious, as he- Yo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So is this gonna be real or is it gonna be cap? Mentioned seeing two or three big clusters of roads. This partly coincides with the GTA 6 mapping project, a fan-made concept map of GTA 6 based on leaks from September 2022 and the first GTA 6 trailer. The map in the upcoming GTA will be huge, and from what we've seen in the trailer, it will contain a lot of details. One of the but the real question here is that will it be big enough to for that Lucia Bruna to be carried around? Because if the we know we saw that that Lucia Bruna is going to be massive unless they nerf it, but looks like that they're not gonna. Hopefully they're not gonna in 2025 because the, there are a lot of journalists that are trying to cancel this game a lot of them trying to ban this game right because there were a lot of uh, Burna and a lot of jiggle physics so I truly hope the Burna doesn't get nerfed but 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 if the Burna is big man it needs a bigger map a bigger map is gonna support a bigger Burna guys Come big on, clusters dog. of roads he mentioned could be port it's simple maps bro it's simple maps Elhorn. as you can see this area is located in the western part of the map moving eastward there's little haiti and rockridge right below that is vice city international airport one of its elements we could see in the trailer right behind the vice sign the most iconic and likely the part of the map that stuck in everyone's memory yeah, is vice yeah. beach which could yeah, be another because, be because it was not vice beach it was get beach you feel what i'm saying <laughs> There was so much get, bruh, like, that, that's the part that we saw with a hell lot of asses, hell lot of get, a hell lot of bundas uh, on the on the beach, dog, like, the, the, hell, hey, this is what it was, bro. This is, this is, this entire area, I swear to God, is gonna take 100 gigabytes of space. Bruh. The amount of get that it's gonna have, like, this area, just this part alone, you feel what I'm saying? That's gonna be easily 100 gigs of space, guys. The rest of the map, probably gonna be, like, 2, two gigs or something like that, you know? But this one, 100 gigs. 
another of the big clusters of roads the Post's author might have seen. And the last one is probably Grass Rivers and Gator Keys. The case of Brian Zampella is also very interesting, because over the past few months, there were many hints from him as if he was going to play the role of Jason in GTA 6. For a long time, we weren't sure if he was just joking with us constantly referring to Rockstar Productions, or if he really was going to play that role, and Rockstar told him to drop these hints as a form of advertising. Bumbaka! <laughs> you fraud! Man, like, Yasuo is doing the homie dirty. He never said he's gonna be in the game, but he was, I feel like he was trolling. Uh, maybe, like we heard from that, that cleaner dude, probably not real, but, or maybe he is, we're gonna find out. He says that he's gonna let us know in a bit, but, but I do believe that this guy, he, and he knows Sean Fanta or Sean Fantano, right? He, he knows that Sean, Bruh. uh, the, the Franklin's actor, Ned Luke, Michael's actor as well. So he has connections. I mean, does it does not mean that he's gonna be in the game, but you never know, right? Maybe he's gonna be an NPC, maybe a side character, or maybe he's gonna be part of the game, maybe a bigger role, but certainly not protagonist, I think. No for GTA 6. However, it later became obvious that he was just trolling and here we have confirmation of that. Though it is interesting that there were plans for him to be in the game and all the fun Brian had on his social media was probably caused by anger at Rockstar. From what I know, he's been deleting comments like crazy since the trailer came out where we heard Jason's voice. All of this is, of course, speculation. So take it with a grain of salt. Dang, yo, what if, right? Like, guys, uh, okay, speculation, right? Yo, what if this saga was really gonna be in the game and the fact that he went down crazy on social media talking about GTA 6 talking about the Lucia Burda and uh, right after we had the leaks and just went crazy started trolling started teasing hinting and talking uh, GTA 6 and we, we know Rockstar games don't like that right he was taking pictures at the Miami Beach as well or at least that's how it felt like the, the from the one that we saw in the league gameplay what if Rockstar games saw that and were like mm -mm -mm, we're gonna remove your dumbass from the game what if this guy was indeed gonna be in the game and they're like okay bro you just just went bozo therefore we're gonna remove you from the game you guys feel that that's that it, this can be a possibility your name the art mentioned by the post's author is actually like not that important. Rockstar will likely post many such things over the next few months. I'm really hoping for any screenshots from the game this year, but that seems unlikely. The last piece of information is the most interesting, though. September 2025. Is it possible for GTA 6 to come out that late? That's almost two years of waiting. At this moment, most people are betting that the game's release date will be spring 2025. Although as we- Man, if that is really true, dog, I'll become a monk and settle myself on a mountain into bed for very very long guys I have delayed my plans of having a soccer team because I love soccer I love football not like the sport but you know having a team that is my own team that has my DNA what I'm talking about here is just finding my me a wife who's settling myself and having kids on a not a daily basis but nine months basis every single year you know what I'm saying till we reach is at least 11 or 12 kids Bruh. so we have that soccer team I'm delaying that because I want to play this game i want to make content on this game i want to dedicate uh, just a small amount of my life on playing this game damn it just small amount and i'm delaying my plans bro we ain't getting any younger though we getting older bro like i don't want to be you know 50 and then planning my 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 soccer team i want it now bro like there are a lot of child benefits you can get you can get like 500 dollars per month from the government man like, and that's like passive income <laughs> I'm joking, man. <laughs> I'm joking, man. It can be a little bit when you think about it, right? Like, you, you get 500, spend 250 on the kid, 250 on yourself. Happy, happy kids, happy life. Happy wife, happy kids, happy life. That's what I'm talking about. Like the video if you agree, man. Like the video if you agree we all know, delays often happen with Rockstar games. I must admit that the mere thought of each additional month waiting for the game is frustrating, so let's hope that in this case, the post's author is wrong. It's also important that there was no mention of GTA 6, as there was no 6, just the GTA. So this might refer to another right. production of the studio. Who knows, maybe finally it's the time for GTA 4, the definitive edition. Take-Two Interactive has announced that they're working on two new iterations of previously released titles. Yo. We've already got the Red Dead Redemption port for Nintendo switch and ps yo, yo 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 okay another idea real quick i'm gonna slingshot this idea real quick i on okay if this game because realistically i also do believe that gta 6 probably gonna come out early 2025 but chances are they're gonna delay it to late 2025 
not a rocket scientist here. Right? It's not like a crazy theory. We all kind of have the suspicion, right? There are some people that are like, <laughs> the game is gonna come out in 2024. I mean, damn, you, you, like, come on, man. They already said 2025. They're not gonna release it early. They're gonna release it later. They're, they can delay it, but they're not gonna come out early right because of marketing and this game is big this is not like any other game where they are gonna release it even call of duty is one of those games that the only game that came out early was black ops 4 but they officially did announce that it wasn't a leak it wasn't a rumor they came out and they were like okay we're gonna release it early therefore we're gonna release it early and they did release it early for a game like gta this is massive they're not gonna release it before the date because you know they, they it's about marketing it's about uh, it's about the money simple as that it's about the dates they, they want to meet those uh those dates this idea though where because we did hear that gta 4 remaster was in development but they canned it because they want to like fully focus on gta 6 what if we get gta 4 before gta 5 what if we get that in 2024 next year honestly i would love that if this game is really supposed to come out in 20 uh, by the end of 2025 thoughts real quick like if you agree like if you agree four so this time we might at least get some refresh of one of the most underrated games of the gta franchise on the other hand at the moment we have only one gta 6 trailer and as we know from previous rockstar one, games bro. productions over the next few months leading up to the game's release we should be receiving more video content about the game. Let's take a step back in time and see how it was with GTA 5. November 2nd, 2011 marked the release of the first official GTA 14 13, the Anarchy Campaign, Area Enlightenment Seminar for GTA 6 where a few people will be chosen to be placed in the game because in my opinion this idea is phenomenal but returning to the topic of trailers before the game's release in April we received a trio of trailers featuring each protagonist then in July the first official GTA 5 gameplay trailer was released along with a GTA online gameplay okay, I want to know about that uh, leak info right about that that second that said that uh, it's gonna be coming out in 2020 by the end of 2025 September so who knows so who knows maybe September 2024 could be the release date for the second or third trailer for yeah. GTA 6. And getting back to the post with leaked info about the upcoming game, if you're now wondering where is any confirmation of what this Reddit user wrote... I, I think I think if the, the game is really supposed to come out by the end of 2025, like September, then we're likely, and this is something that I talked about previously as well, and we all are speculating, obviously, dead, like this is speculation, but I think legitimately... If the game is gonna come out by the end of 2025, the trailer is probably gonna be at, the second trailer is gonna be by the end of 2024. Unless they are really planning to drop trailers after trailers after trailers, then we can see even beforehand. But if they're not planning to drop trailers after trailers after trailers, and the game is supposed to come out early 2025, then I can see the second trailer perhaps somewhere around June, July, like summertime of 2024, which would be ideal. Uh, yeah, but I don't know, man. We have information from the moderator. The address of 555 Kings Road matches what he sent me. It all seems right, but please Yo. take this entire post with a grain of salt. What okay. he has sent could be forged with enough effort. I'm in no way saying this is legitimate, but everything he sent me seems to match. He Damn. or she has also given away too much information and if true, could be in a fair amount of trouble. I'm not going to share what was sent as it contains sensitive information and could potentially get them in deeper shit. In my opinion, everything matches up, but something seems off with the NDA situation, and I'm not entirely sold i'll let you all know if i can find out anything more regarding its authenticity okay that is crazy all right i want to know okay any of you watching this video has knowledge of this uh because i know it's easy to say cap or facts or agreeing or 100 like saying it's official official uh and it's true what the guy is saying uh the mod has seen some proof which we have not so we're not sure what that's talking about but to people that actually works in businesses or corporations or in gaming industry like let's say ubisoft activision or whatever right and and, and you're not a dev you're not a qa tester because if you're a dev and qa tester obviously nd is gonna be but if you're someone else uh let's just say cleaner nothing wrong with that i mean at work is work right it, it, like you're grinding you're you're getting your bread through that i mean shout out to you i got nothing but love i got nothing but respect okay we all gotta grind okay but if you're a cleaner uh i think i mean listen i i don't have the knowledge but but i can see why the guy why a cleaner guy wouldn't have nda 
And this is what this guy is saying, like he wasn't signed NDA and this moderator is making that argument that the NDA situation, he's not sold on it because he says that he did not sign. We're talking about Rockstar Games. I think Rockstar Games is even all the flies that entered their space, they're even gonna make those flies sign an NDA. Bruh. You feel what I'm saying? With Rockstar, yeah, I think they would make that like a sign NDA. But everywhere else, I would have a different perspective that a cleaner guy might not have to. You feel what I'm saying? What are your thoughts on this? Uh, if you have experience, share in the comments. We had some trailer 2 news and some gameplay leaks and really good breakdown, guys. This is a massive video. Click on this video on the screen. Some of the new information that we had is gonna blow your mind, okay? Check this video out. On the left, though, we had brand new leaks and uh, not necessarily leaks. This was said officially by Rockstar Games. This is some bad news. Check both of these videos out and I will see you right there.